Well, good afternoon and welcome to Catopia. Hopefully you're... Is today Thursday or Friday? I don't know why I'm looking at my calendar. It's not going to help. My calendar is still on April. Um, anyway, hopefully your day is off to a great, great start. And if it's not, it has the chance to get better. I think that I sorted out some of my streaming problems. No idea if the audio and video is syncing up at all, uh, but at least it's not as herky-jerky as it was earlier today. Uh, so we are giving this another shot today. Uh, now, this is not Season 10, Episode 2. I probably need to fix that in the descriptor, but it's too late for that. <clears throat> We're live. We're starting. The show goes on. Uh, so what you are looking at in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen is, well, it's that same painting that I painted a few days ago, but... I am working toward actually putting it on the 16 by 20 canvas today. So I'm going to flip over to that next view and uh, we'll get a shot of, uh, well, my little no mistakes, just happy accidents. Um, so once again, this is a painting for my pastor, Pastor Steve. Um, and what's interesting is that he, well, kind of had no idea that I was painting. And so until he saw um, a few of my pictures when I, showed some people at church on Sunday. Um, he had no idea I painted, but he asked for something Christian related, of course. And, um, since there are no Bob Ross Christian episodes specifically, uh, I went and found this particular picture and I'm going to give it a shot. So I had already tried it out once so that I kind of knew what colors I wanted to use and um, how to go about it. So the first thing I need is to put on some liquid white. And the absolute worst part about every one of these paintings is opening the liquid white container. There's just no possible way to get it open without getting liquid white all over your hands. So that's, well, that's the worst. Okay. So just like on the practice painting I did, I want liquid white on the top three fourths or so because the bottom is going to be black and I don't want the black to um, mix with the white and become gray. So a little bit of white on there. And I think we found out last time that I, I wanted the black to just have like a deeper V, a deeper V on the picture so that the hill was a little more distinct. So this one's probably going to be kind of a quiet painting. I won't talk maybe nearly as much as I sometimes do. Sometimes I do a little extra commentary along with Bob. And this one may be kind of quiet. I'm not having to think too hard. But if you have some comments, uh, feel free to chime in. I should pull up my chat overlay. That way I can keep an eye on things. Caster sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Oh, if you're on Twitch or on Facebook, I will see it. If you're on YouTube, I probably will not. All right. Have the liquid white in place. Clean the brush off. And very quickly, I'll go back to the other view. So this is my brand new palette and I am super excited about it. It sits right here, right on my uh, crook of my arm, right in the elbow. It's got a pretty, pretty comfortable grip, roughly. Um, I think it looks funny because you know, it's like my hand and there's like yellow on, on my hand. Uh, anyway, so I used this once already today and it cleaned up so nicely. I was so pleased with how it turned out. Yeah. All right. There we go. And so I guess you can see it in this, uh, from that camera angle as well. All right. So to begin, um, we need some yellow in the middle. We need some orange farther around the um, exterior. So I'm going to grab a two inch brush. I will start with 
cadmium yellow. We're going to make that a little bit darker. We're going to bring in some Indian yellow around the edges there. And then we'll bring in some of the bright red. hot egg. So this is definitely darker, which I know darker sounds weird, but it's darker because there's more value to it, which makes it brighter because of these vibrant colors. So when I say darker, it's really darker in value instead of quite so white. So if you're just joining the stream tonight, um, this is a repeat painting. Um, I did a practice painting of this a few days ago on a small 11 by 14, and today I'm doing the canvas, the 16 by 20 canvas. So I'm gonna take a dry two inch brush. Dry, I painted once today already, so some of my brushes aren't really, <laughs> aren't really that dry. Dry two inch brush, I'm gonna do a little more blending here. Start in the center where it's light and then work your way out. You don't want to go into the center with a dark or dirty brush. Alright. Alright, so that looks pretty good. And then what's interesting um, is that I do see some kind of extra, um, extra streaks up in the sky. So I'm going to add a little bit of cadmium yellow to some liquid white. And just add some extra, not really clouds per se, but just kind of wisps, just some wisps. We did kind of set the sky on fire, but it's that's kind of how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I'm 
And then we can bring in some of these wisps into this yellow area. And it just kind of turns it a little pinker. I think that's really, really pretty. I'm liking how this is looking, uh, even more than on my practice painting. So I want it to be bright, I want it to be bold. All right, so I do want my sun to be right smack in the middle here. Um, theirs isn't in the middle on that particular picture, but I'm going to use fan brush first. Grab some titanium white with the fan brush. And decide where center is. And put in my sun. Now, didn't go perfectly to plan, but it was close. Okay, and you know, Bob never rubs his fan brushes the way that I do. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Okay, the almighty finger. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So some of those clouds are quite dark. I think I'm going to stay away from super dark clouds today. Mm. But I do kind of want them to be a little bit bigger or bushier or brighter in some way than on my practice painting. <sighs> they are still dark. So I have some Prussian blue. The Prussian blue is very, very strong. Um, when you mix blue and brown, you start to get kind of a darkish black. Add some white. Probably shouldn't have added the white that had yellow on it. That was stupid. Because yellow and blue makes green. <laughs> Let's aim toward blue. with the colors I'm getting. Well, that's a weird color <laughs> and we're going to use it. Okay, but we're only going to use it to touch up some of the clouds. Most of these clouds are pretty, just kind of horizontal, horizontal. Clouds are the freest thing in nature, as Bob always says. So we just kind of put them in wherever whoever we think they might be. All right, so I feel like there needs to be maybe a little bigger bank right over here. They can streak in there, but I think maybe I'm gonna take yellow to streak through the sun. Because remember, this is gonna get pretty dark uh, with black down at the bottom. And it's been kind of a stormy day here, so dark and stormy clouds seems to uh, seems to fit. All right, so maybe a little liquid white, so 
match with some of the thick white. Here's the thing. On the side that the sun is facing, it should be fairly bright. Or the side that's facing the sun, rather. It's been a while since I've watched do one of these, but that's the general idea. Just to brighten these up. That's the idea. Okay. Take a dry one inch brush. some of the paint off of it. Okay. And I'm going to get brave. This is a Bob Ross bravery test. I'm going to try to fluff. Some hairs and some air. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> that was, that was a great retest. Okay. So I do like most of that. I think I'm going to maybe get some white. Some of the liquid white. Some of the thick white. It's too bright, just rub it till it goes away. Just keeping all of these horizontal. Okay. And there is some, it's as if there's like reflected pieces um, in there. I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh, got the fancy palette. Let me just hold hold it right there. Um, Try maybe blending this just a little further. Really fast X strokes, there we go. Looks good. Okay. Alright, so this is this is definitely a fireball. Okay. Oh, good. I had this right in my hand. Um, so a little more with the white fan brush. Um, getting some of that white in here. Again, we're not sure if this is land. This is supposed to be water. <laughs> No, no real idea here, but just kind of a little reflected piece there. 
Well, I hope that uh, Pastor Steve likes pink, because some of this definitely has a bit of a pink flair. All right. So now the moment of truth. <clears throat> Doing the black. Doing the black. I'm fairly confident I still want the um, kind of double double hill um, idea. Just need to dry off this brush a little further. Okay, so this is straight black down at the bottom. And for a good portion of this, it's, um, it's dry. It's not a, um, there's no liquid white down there. It's gonna take a little more oomph, a little more paint. But if we get up into there, then all of a sudden it starts to turn white. It's mixing with the, the liquid white and the pink underneath. Okay, so let's stay out of there for now. way. We don't want it to mix and change colors until until we're ready for it to, until we decide, you know, hey, there's a path here or something like that. Alright, so you can see that mixing there too. <clears throat> okay, and let's get a little attention over here. So this kind of goes up first. is getting treated almost like a mountain with like the, the light that kind of gets um, put on it. And this is fairly flat for good ways. And then it starts to head down. Sometimes you just gotta take a step back and look at stuff to decide is this looking how you want. We're too close. We're too close sometimes as Bob says. Alright. So I do like the way that, that looks. I'm gonna clean that brush because now what I want is I wanna use a Maybe a fan brush. Yeah, I don't want a fan brush to go into a little bit of the black and start pulling up some of these little strands. Straight up, straight up these strands go.
Like that it looks okay. I will add some of that to this film. Some dark indications of some land there. All right, so let's see about, I think we're ready for the cross. I think we're ready to add that in. And so I'm going to clean off my knife. We're ready for the brown cross and they have the, the arms of it right in the cloud. So I think I'm going to make mine maybe right here and just kind of have it, have it partly in the clouds. Right. Get off a roll of paint, a hunk of paint. I'm probably going to stand in front of the camera for a little bit just to make sure I get this in there. It's a pretty, pretty meaty thing. You can always make it wider, but you cannot make it thinner. And then we'll at the top. Make it like that. And then the T bar just kind of goes across there. It is also at an angle. Well, I think it looks a little awkward because it's thinner at the top than it was at the bottom. So let's add a little length to it. Not a lot, just a little. There we go. That looks pretty good. And the angle, just to touch up the angle a little bit. Oh boy, we're starting to piddle. So I'm going to pause there and I'm going to 
grab some very little bit of brown and a goodly amount of white. is light on the left side of this. It's too bright. Just keep touching it until it's not so bright. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then That'll have some good texture when it's dry as well. Um, you'll be able to touch that and it'll feel like bark or like a rough, a rough tree. Okay. Well, I think that's where I am going to stop. Uh, nope, it's not. I just changed my mind. Ha! I sound like Bob. Like, we just changed a painting right in the middle of it. Um, and it's because of the foot of the cross. Um, so I'm going to grab some black. And give give this side the same same kind of treatment as I'd given the left side. Get some rough foliage. So just kind of hide the foot. And more of that right here. Even though it's black, it still matters. That texture. Okay. It's a pretty smooth hill all the way down. There we go. And you can certainly piddle it to death, so I think that's where I'm going to cease. Nope. Again. Let's change my mind. Just to fill in by the path. Okay. Just kind of help outline it. All right. <laughs> Now, unless I really think of something else, <laughs> I think I might actually be done. And um, based on the color scheme of this, I'm going to sign it in a very bright, very white gray. And I don't know if Pastor Steve knows about my funny joke about um, the 19, but I'm going to add it. Anyway, I very much hope that he enjoys his painting from the coronavirus COVID-19 collection. And I can't wait to send him a picture. And I, did, I don't know if he likes to watch things like this, but um, he can even watch this particular episode of uh, The Joy of Painting, this time with just me. Um, so once again, welcome to Catopia. I hope that you found some joy and some peace and some freedom on this canvas tonight. And like Bob always says, God bless my friends. <laughs>